You're saying that then um, that the idea here, the decision to reduce the the rate of income tax, then is that a retrograde step? Um, Generally or? speaking, uh, yes, it is. I mean, we would much prefer to see investment in the high quality public services. We would think that that is a much more effective uh, use uh, of the money. So, has this budget favoured, if you like, in one sense, um, middle and higher income earners rather than low income earners? We think it is regressive in many ways, uh, or to a degree. We would certainly not have dropped the rate of forty one percent. We would not have dropped that, that most definitely. And just to, to clarify, um, in relation to the the nine percent VAT rate being maintained, are, are you critical of the decision to actually maintain that, or is it more of a case that you're critical of the government for for lauding the success of that move for creating jobs when really they're actually pretty we, poorly paid jobs? Look, we think you need much more evidence based policy making. Right? The the Fintan O'Toole had an interesting little article the other morning where he said, uh, you know this thing, the cock crows and the sun rises, you know, so there's, you know, because the cock crows the sun came up, do you know what I mean? Now, there's, there's a little bit of that about it. It, it assumes that uh, the 9% rate, that rate, generated 30,000 new jobs in the hospitality sector. So Leanne has made the point that those jobs are pretty precarious type of jobs, but leaving that aside for a second. There's no counterfactual to examine in that respect. How many of those jobs would have happened? Either? They'd be gathering, for example. Yeah. Like, do you, know, you need more solid evidence.